Hey drivers, hello and welcome. I'm glad you found me. I wanted to share a little bit of insight on some things that I feel and decisions that I make when I perceive that orders are slow. Now, just to start off with, I've been doing this part-time since late 2018, so I've got a lot of experience and I do work for many apps. Why is this? If I just worked for one app, and let's say Uber Eats, and let's say they paid really well and I got a lot of orders, I would happily just do that all the time because I'd be making good money. But over time, I've had experience where if you get deactivated or a customer accuses you of something, quickly you can be off the platform and then you have no money. So what I've done over the years is added more and more apps. That way I have the chance to make a lot more money. I think it's important to remind ourselves that we can't make orders appear, but after thinking about it a little bit more these last few weeks, I think we can trust and just trust in the system that customers are placing orders. Now, when it comes to placing orders, I'm sure you realize, just like I do, that we're going to go out of business if we take low-paying ones. So in light of just the last few weeks, I've resolved if I really want to do well in food delivery, then I need to just accept orders that are going to pay well. And I can do roughly three delivery orders in an hour. So if I just take $7 orders, then I'm going to be making good money. One thing that is frustrating, though, is what if it's slow? I've noticed that I'll end up lowering my standards and then I'll just take any order in order to be busy because otherwise, what if I'm just sitting around waiting, then I'm not earning money. But I think this is my downfall as well, because I have found that when you do food delivery, quickly you can get around that dollar per mile range or even less. And I think if I'm lowering my standards, then guaranteed I'm going to have more miles. Now, <laughs> this is going to be a little bit of a struggle for me, and I'm going to try it today and going forward as well. I'm just going to have to trust that there are orders out there and don't take the low paying ones because then I'm wasting my time and I'm not going to have the opportunity to get that good order. Now, another thing to consider, I would love it. And when I signed up for Amazon Flex and I got to do the grocery orders, if I got those all day, I really would commit to just driving Amazon Flex to do those grocery orders. If I did three or four of those, that would be great money. But just because I want to do that, that doesn't mean they're sending me orders. And sure enough, they haven't. I've looked back and I've pretty much gotten an order every few months, which that's not sustainable as far as income. Another app I had signed up for, again, hoping that I was going to get a bunch of orders, is Deliver That. This area is really good for catering. There's a lot of businesses, and I've heard that if you take 20 orders, then you get higher priority, and right now I've taken five. If I would have been able to just keep getting orders, I would do them all day, and that's still my plan. Once I reach that 20 threshold, then I'm trusting that the system's going to recognize that, and then I'll be able to move up and, and get those big orders. I would happily just do catering orders all day because I have seen online, like UDM, he makes great money doing it, and I want to do the same thing. Now, it does come back to I'm just sitting around waiting to earn money, and this is why I multi-app. But I think if I control myself and don't give in to fear and wondering, oh no, I'm not going to make any money, I need to remember I've proven it to myself over and over again. My miles will go up and the pay won't be as good. So this is going to be a struggle. And I'm going to start doing this starting today and resist that temptation to have that fear of, well, any order is better than no orders and not making money. So bear with me. And I do appreciate your comments. So please give feedback on things that you've gone through like this and what you've done about it. And I have shared insight like this in the past. But I'm telling you, it really is hard to stick to that, even though I know that's the right thing to do. So except for Uber Eats, I'm going to do that with all those other apps. I'm not going to just take garbage orders and I'm going to trust that the orders are there. And I will clarify, I am going to do every order on Deliver That. 
until I get to that 20 order level, and then I can move up into a higher status, and I'll just trust they're going to send the bigger catering orders then. You know, one thing to help ease the burden before if I'm not getting orders, I'll try to think of errands that I need to run, but that only goes so far. And it does make me think, am I wasting my time doing food delivery if it's really slow? Um, you know, we don't know where all the drivers are coming from, or maybe there's less orders. That's kind of out of our control. But when you're sitting in your car just waiting to earn some money, I'm available and I want to earn money, but the orders aren't coming in. It really does make you start to question, should I continue doing this? Is it foolish? But I do have to trust there are slow times and busy times. And I know we always talk about, oh, the summer slowdown and, and other times. But overall, this is a good area. I know it's a good market. And so I just need to rest knowing that the orders are out there. And I do want to mention on Uber Eats, I'm going to keep taking every order on there just for fun. And I know I've beat that topic to death, but I did slip to a 99% and I'm going to just take every order until I get back to 100%. And then I think I'm going to be done with that experiment. And thank you very much for your comments. Um, John, you're right. I do need to expect to at least do 100 orders before I can get back to 100% because it's your last 100. And an Uber support rep had told me, oh, it's 200. So I, th I think I'm going to have the stamina to do it. I may not like it. But again, it may form an informative video for you when I do hit that 100%. So between Uber Eats and Deliver That, I will take every order on there. So other than Uber Eats and Deliver That, I think I'm going to have to be very selective of the orders that I take on the other apps when I'm out working because I don't want to continue this trend knowing that my miles are going to go up and I'm going to make okay money. I would rather trust that the orders are there. So I'll give you updates as things go on and, and your encouragement in the comments will be great. And please share feedback on things that you're experiencing and, and how you handle that. Oh, one interesting thing. Have you ever thought about what if you change your location? You know, we're so used to the markets we're in. Is there better money somewhere else? Well, check out this next video and find out there.